Hey, Shalonda Gordon here, and have you ever thought about when that shift happened in your life when you basically saw things change? The direction you were going to go, everything was different than you had planned, different than what you believed would happen. I was actually on a call last night listening in. Um, every Monday at 9, I'm getting a lot of good self-development audio. And last night I was getting some and I was listening to um, this guy's story. It was Pat Patterson. I was listening to his story and it was amazing, right? And while he was telling his story, it hit me. Shalonda, when was that moment that everything shifted? Um, when I was in high school, I did really, really well. Came out of high school and basically was going to, my goal was to get my PhD, go work for NASA, be an astronaut. If I couldn't get to space, I was going to be real close to them, right? And so that was the goal. Get my physical chemistry degree, go work for NASA, get my PhD in physical chemistry, and there you go. After NASA, work for colleges, whatever. Well, some of you might not know this, but I grew up in Germany. I moved to Germany when I was five years old, and I lived there from five until... 12 at the age of 12 we lived in America for one year was in Gaithersburg Maryland and then went back to Germany from 13 to 18 so pretty much for from the age of 5 to 18 I was in Germany my father was in the army I was what some of us consider army brats I was a dependent and um, when I went back though my mom taught schools over there so I would also um, I didn't live on base I lived off base but I was definitely an American living in Germany. So, while you're in Germany though, let me let me explain something to you. We used to call the United States the world. It was the place everybody wanted to be, but we were in Germany. Now some would be like, oh my God, you were in Europe. Yeah, yeah, but Europe had nothing on the world. The United States of America was the world. Um, America was who our parents, who we shared our parents with, right? We shared our parents with the United States of America. They fought for that country. We were in Germany simply because they were soldiers in the army. Um, so it was very interesting my whole life from age 5 to 18 being American, right? My mom raised me, my parents raised me that I could do anything I wanted, whenever I wanted, however I wanted to do it. I could be anything and I did really good in school, got really good grades and was on that track to doing whatever I wanted to do. So I come to the States to go to college at 18. And when I got to the States, all of a sudden, I had a revelation. Now, how do I say this? So my whole life, I had been American. And even in Germany, when um, I spoke fluent German at the time, and so when I would go into a store, the owner would wait and they would speak to me in German and they would see how I responded before they made a decision on telling me how much something was or anything of that nature, right? And every time I would respond in German and I would get pretty much respect, right? Like, okay, well, you respect our culture. This is the actual cost of this. This is the actual cost of that, right? So I come to America and I come to college. Now, I had visited America before, but only to see my family and then go back, right? So I'd be at my grandmama's house, or I'd be at my auntie's house, or I'd be at my cousin's house, right? Never really had to do anything else, right? And then I'd go back to Germany. So I came to America, went to college. I'm at college, and all of a sudden, it's very clear. It's very clear that I'm not American but that I'm black. Now, some of y'all might be like, wait, what? You, you have to understand that overseas in a military environment, it doesn't matter whether you're black, um, yellow, green, blue, whatever. It doesn't matter whether, you know, and I don't know all the PC saying, it doesn't matter what nationality you are, none of that matters. All that matters is that we're all American and we are over here together, right? We are family, our parents are over here, we are one, right? That's all that mattered. You know, out of my group of friends, I had Caucasian friends, I had a Jewish friend, I had an Indian friend, I had I, all, all races, all creeds, right? Everything. So I get to college, went to this college in Indiana, and at that moment, it was very clear, it was very clear 
that I was black. And I remember calling my dad. <laughs> and I called my dad and I'm like, Dad, you never told me I was black. And my dad's like, what? What are you talking about? I'm like, no. I thought I was American. Now, this is an 18-year-old, right? I thought I was American. My dad's like, what are you talking about? I said, I'm black. And then I said, and I can't fix it. I can't fix it. Now, you watching this video, you might take this however you want. It was 19, 20, 21, about 22 years ago. 21, 21 years ago. And at that moment, I had a revelation. Now, not only during that first couple of weeks did I understand what it meant to be African American in this country, America, but it tore to the core of who I was. All of a sudden, I wasn't capable of doing certain things. All of a sudden, my all my self-esteem, every bit I had was just destroyed. And it led me on a path of life that I am have been traveling down ever since. See, the core to that story is this. All of a sudden, I didn't know who I was anymore. See, I had been this American all my life. I had not been Black Shalanda. I had not gone into a place where you don't even, where, where, where the, when I would go places now, remember in Germany, they would let me open my mouth before they judged who I was or what I was about. Now I'm in America and I don't even get to open my mouth. You, it was a look. They look at me and make a decision based on what they see. And that was that. I was broken. It was rough, but a year later, a year later, I started my first home-based business. I was 19. It's taken me, it took me 19 years. I was 38 when I had real, started having real success in my network marketing company. 19 years. Because when I was 19 and I started my first business, I didn't know who I was. I didn't know anymore who I thought I was. It appeared I wasn't. And, and maybe I was her in Germany, but I surely wasn't going to be able to be her in, in America, at least not in, in, in where I was, right? Um, I was still going for chemistry, still had that same track, but I was unsure. I was insecure. I was scared of what I didn't know. Maybe you can relate to that moment. But, but what I did know is that I needed a way. I needed a way that I could, I could have control, more control of what I did with my life, what I had available for my family. Now, now look, 19, I start this home-based business. I actually had to invest $5,000. My father co-signed on a loan for me. I say this to you to say, if you are 19, 20, 21, 30, 40, 50, and you're complaining about investing into a business, maybe you're not ready to be an entrepreneur. Get a job. Stick to them being an employee. Because, yeah, investments have to be made. My first, I'm 19, I get a loan that my dad co-signs on for $5,000 to invest into my first business. Had a lot of product, to say the least. Back then, you had a lot of product. I tried it, you know, I didn't have success. The next thing I did was start throwing parties, right? I remember in college, we started making money throwing parties. Still had to invest, had to put up the money up front for the location, for the drinks, for all this stuff, and then you recouped it at the end. Still had to make an investment, be an entrepreneur, right? Still didn't know who I was, was just kind of doing stuff, right? Then I joined another network marketing company. About every two, three years, I joined a different company. Joined this one company, and the product, I didn't even use it had no passion for it or whatever. See, I was all about thinking about the money of it. That's what my that's what motivated me. So, join another one, join another one. So then in 2011, I've joined the one I'm a part of now. Came to a point now <laughs> from that moment when I was 18 and had all this stuff figured out to being 19 and having no clue whether I was even worthy 
of anything and, and, and in order to get my worth back would I have to actually leave the country well obviously not because people are surviving here every day right just have to find out what it is I have to offer what it is I desire right I have two kids right now I'm 40 it's been like I said when I was 38 was when I had started having real success two years ago right three three years ago this is three years ago this is my third year of being full-time so three years ago I started having real success and it all is because of mindset self-development and understanding that I fail y'all have to know I fail over and over again trying to figure out who am I here it's it's, it's not to say that the struggle is real for any entrepreneur the struggle is real you will fall down over and over again. I fell down when I came to America. It knocked me out, literally, right? But I got back up at 19, invested money in something for myself, right? And then I fell there again. And then so I started throwing parties, failed there after a while. So I started another company, failed that one, started another company, failed that one, started another company, had a little success, then failed, started another company, right? Not thinking it wasn't me right it must be the company because I I'm good right so another company until till I think 2009 2010 when I met my mentor and she really started to be to speak to me and I realized I had been running this entire time running this entire time the moment I stopped running is the minute I realized who I am and what I have to offer the marketplace and why I'm doing what I do besides the fact that I love it besides the fact that I have complete control of my time and my finances besides the fact that literally I can I can show my daughters a way that they can have freedom that they can have freedom Okay, y'all, sidebar, there is this lizard crawling across the thing. Um, yeah, okay, that was a sidebar, but y'all, yeah, yeah, I, I would turn the camera around, but I'm not going to do that. So, so ultimately, 19 years self-development, 19 years of failing, failing, and failing. What, the story I told y'all about coming to America and realizing that I was black and that I wasn't American anymore, I don't. I haven't told that story very often because I never wanted to define me but it definitely changed the course of my life some people say well if you had to do it again would you would you would you rather have known you know I'd rather be the exact same way because of that change of course I didn't finish college because of that change of course I've been an entrepreneur from day one because of that shift because of that reality I can sit here today and tell you it doesn't have to take you 19 years to get your mind right to have a business. I can sit here and tell you exactly the things you need to do so you don't have to fall flat on your butt over and over and over again, right? I can sit here and honestly genuinely tell you that sometimes it hurts like hell. And life prepares you for that, right? But when it's good, it's worth it. So worth it so worth it I don't know if you have a story I don't know if you've reached a moment in your life at times when you're like what on earth where am I this is not the road I thought I would be on what's really going on here I don't know if you've met that mentor that can talk to you about who you are what you have going for you look look the lizards right here look I'm gonna see if I can show y'all do y'all see it Oh no, it didn't it, it went away. It went away. Oh there it is right there. It's like it's playing with me. Okay, sorry, I know sidebar. I don't know if you are ready. I mean seriously ready to connect with real marketers, real business build, home based business builders, real everyday people that go through crap. Literally go through crap. The school bus is getting ready to go by. <sighs> I'm glad I told that story because I feel like a relief. It has literally freed me and changed 
my entire view of things and and I hope honestly it helps you to realize that you know what some of us hear how things look and appear in the lives we live yeah but look 19 years it took me 19 years doesn't have to take you 19 years that's why some of us had to go through it that way so that we could give you the shorter version we can make the learning curve just a little bit smaller right click the link below this video or connect with me on Facebook at shalondagordonfanpage.com inbox me on Facebook say Shalonda I don't want to take 19 years I don't want to take 19 years show me show me how to do it in three show me how to do it in three I can do that okay or if you're right now on watch this on YouTube click the video click the link I'm sorry the link below the video and go ahead and and say you know put your email in there watch the information three years depends on how much you want I'm going for a million and three so a million and three if that's what you want there you go mindset doesn't have to take you 19 years make it an amazing day and keep smiling bye